everyone, my name is John Mills, you're tuning into the Average Angler channel. Today we're going to be talking about a little device that's just arrived, that I ordered on the internet. Um, and it's to help me out with an issue that I have had, I'm hoping it's going to help me out, um, with an issue that I had recently. It's an issue that I've never had before, but it suddenly happened to me and so now I feel like I've got to do something about it. And that is, I went over in my nets. So for those that are watching this that aren't perhaps familiar with... Um, the system for match fishing in the UK, particularly commercial fisheries where weights are quite high, you have a, a maximum amount of fish that you can put into each keep net. And if you go over the stated maximum, there's usually some sort of punishment, whether that's lost weight or completely losing all of the whole weight of the net, or maybe even complete disqualification from the whole match. It all depends on the fishery rules. I recently went over in a net for the first time in two years of doing, in the last two years. So I thought, I need to understand why that was. It was a difficult day with a mixture size of fish and I was finding it hard to guess the weights correctly of those fish. So, I had seen on the internet, I don't know, on it, this, not, this device seems reasonably new to me, but, as in new to the market, but it might have been around longer than I realised because I, I haven't seen it, but I have seen this. This, as you can see from the label, is made by a company called Right Tackle. Uh, it's a small company, they only make a couple of devices at the moment for match fishing. Um, you can visit their website, it says, do, it, says it there, www.righttackle.co.uk. Um, I'd like to start by saying I'm not affiliated with them and this is not a sales pitch. I'm not, make, you know, I'm not making any money from trying to plug their products or anything. I have nothing to do with them at all. I am literally a customer who's purchased this to try and help me out. Okay, so how does it help me out? Really, really simple. It has a thread on this end, which you keep net threads in, sorry, your landing net threads into, and it has another thread on this end, which your landing net pole threads onto. So essentially, it sits between your landing net this side and your landing net pole this side, and then you use it to weigh the fish just before you put them into the net. So it streamlines the weighing process, for match anglers, we don't want to, we don't want to, you know, get another set, we don't want to have a set scale separate by the side of us and start trying to weigh the fish. Also, we don't need to know an accurate weight. We just need to know to the nearest pound or half a pound or so, what is this? Because we're using um, tally, sort of mechanical tally devices where you press the button once and it just clicks over to the next digit. So we tend to use pounds as our guide. So if I catch a 10 pound carp, or what I think is 10 pound carp, I will press my tally device 10 times and it will say 10 on it. And then that's keeping the record for me. So I've got to remember that there's 10 pound of fish in that net. And then obviously each time I catch more fish, the tally goes up. So I don't really care about pounds. and uh, I don't really care about ounces. I just want to get it closest as I can to the pound. So this is where this device is ideal because it's just got, you know, one, two, three, four, five in each increment is a pound. We are just waiting for the camera to wake up. There we are. And each increment is a pound, so we've got little half pound increments in between, actually. But that's how it works. So it's not really going to add any time to your process because this. We'll go through it in a minute. I'm going to go into a wider shot, and we're going to. I'm going to just demonstrate and do some testing with it. But um, it's not going to really slow down your fishing process at all. Uh, but it's going to give you a much more accurate clip, which is going to enable you to, you know, um, hopefully not go over those limits and could could ultimately result in you um, winning a match that you wouldn't have ordinarily won because you'd have gone over your net limit. So I'm going to, well, no, before we do a wide shot, let's just talk about a few things. Obviously, this is a new bit of kit. My main concern about it, anything new, is is it robust enough to do the job? Things in fishing get battered. As you've already seen, Brass insert, nice, no plastic here. This is metal, might look plasticky on the camera, but that is what I'm assuming is a black anodized metal, some description. Um, rivets, so this is riveted in, it's nice and solid. This end, we've got another brass thread. I've taken this, this little bit of, I've screwed this little bit of plastic off here to find that um, that is threaded. That is a threaded bar, so that is pretty solid as well. And I'm assuming that that threaded bar goes through this um, 
brass insert as well. So now we've, you know, that's pretty secure as well. So all in all, it looks pretty secure. Like I say, it's all metal construction. So I'm pretty happy with my initial inspection, at least, that it's gonna be able to stand up to the job. So let's switch to a wider angle, test for, um, for accuracy and just give you a bit more of a demonstration of how it fits onto a landing net, etc. Sorry if there's been a bit of noise in the background. That's my dog trying to dig up my carpet. See you in a minute. Right guys, a bit of a wider shot now. I'm hoping that you can see me. I've got the device in there and the net there. It's as easy as it's as easy as putting a landing net head on, so it's not really gonna cause you any extra like setup time anyway initially. The device comes with a couple of rubbers there. I've left them both on there for now. I think one is to stay on there and one is to go here, but I've already got one here on my net. And that's just so that you can ensure that you've got this, because you can obviously from sort of there, it's tight and you can keep tightening it. And obviously because the scale is only on one side, you're gonna to wanna to tighten that to whatever position is best when you're fishing. So that as you're putting your fish into your net in your normal process, that's in your view, because what's going to happen is, if your landing net head, sorry, that your landing net head's attached, your landing net handle is here, normally if the nets, you keep nets below you, you'll hold your landing net handle, which I haven't attached because I'm in the kitchen and I've not, long, I've not got enough headroom, that would go down to your keep net, and then you would swish it down, get the fish back into the water, and then you just lift your net up. So if, as you go in that position, that'll be registering the weight of the fish, like that. So you, the idea is straight in, you've got the weight, six pound, straight in, bang, click six times, get back onto your fishing. It's not impacting you enough to make a difference to your day and your catch rate. That's the plan, okay? So that kind of, I'm hoping that's explained how it all goes together. We'll go on to now, seeing how, seeing how um, accurate it is. We're not looking for it to be accurate to, like, to every ounce. We just want it to give us a close enough thing. Now, the blur on the website says that this is calibrated so that like now in that position, a wet sort of normal size net should drop it to zero. It hasn't got a zero mark on it, so I can't tell if it has or not. Um, I would say my net, I mean, I'm a very big guy. I'm six foot three and far too heavy and you can see it's a big net, right? So I'd say my net's probably a little bit heavier than it should be. So we'll bear that. Should, not should be, a bit heavier than this is calibrated for, but it shouldn't matter. Okay, so if this net weighs a few, you know, half a pound more than it should, which is what I think it probably will, that won't matter because we just know that we're half a pound heavier all the way through the spectrum and it shouldn't cause us an issue. Spectrum cause the problem. All the way through the range of weights is what I'm in when I said spectrum. I've got here a bag of, bag of pellets and they're 900 grams. I've weighed, them, I've weighed them on my scales, my kitchen scales, 900 grams is um, two pound an ounce. Perfect. We can assume it's a two pound fish. Shuffle it in there, lift it up and have a look at what we've got on the scales. We've got just over two pound, two and a half pound. Okay. So now the question I'm asking myself is, is this taking that two pound weight and actually registering two and a half? Or does the net and that weigh two and a half? And that's what it's weighing. Um, and we'll know that when we put the nets back in. I know by my kitchen scale, which are very accurate compared to, you know, much more accurate than we need to be, that is two pound and one ounce. So if I put that in there, it should just go up another two pound. Well, two and a half, should be four and a half, which, just making sure you can see it, looks to me like it's pretty much four and a half, okay? So that tells me that they're accurate, and that my net, so I haven't weighed my net because it's really hard to put this net on my kitchen scales are really small. So that's telling me that they're accurate. And just to prove the point, I'm gonna put another one in. now puts me on a six pound fish. Now, remember that these bags are two pound one ounce. So now we're getting up to sort of, we've got six pound three ounces in there and we've got a half pound net. So we're looking at six pound eight ounces, in my mind. Um, actually three, um, 
So we'll be looking at more like six pound nine, six pound ten ounces. So actually, it was just over six and a half pound. Sorry, my maths was a bit off there, but we've got it sorted now. So there we are. We're just over six and a half pound. You can just about see the top of the number seven coming through, which will be. If I'm just going to pull it by hand now, just there. Look, there's the seven. So we're we you know, we're not we're not seven. We're six and a half. So I'm really happy. In my mind. That, that, that that's that's going to be accurate enough for what I need. I feel like I can demonstrate quite well there, actually. I wasn't sure how that was going to do. But it's the first time I've done that on the camera with you guys, so that's worked out nice. This is so. This is the end of the re initial review. Um, I'll post this up sometime this week, and then um, I might do another little quick short review on how it's doing in a week or two from now. After I've used it, has it, you know, I've, I'll, it'd be good, wouldn't it, to run a match, do a match with it, click and then just see how accurate my clicking is using this. It's so like a real world example of how does an average man get on with it. And then we'll perhaps have to wait six months or so and I'll give you a sort of a used and abused, as we like to call them, uh, review and see if it's fallen to pieces or if there's any pitfalls. If I've learned any sort of tricks to using it that I can pass on to you guys. There you have it. Oh.